Okay, so I had to re-record this, but anyway, so uh, what I'm just seeing between Genesis to Revelations is that God doesn't stop looking out for his people. He doesn't stop swooping in in whatever form, shape, way, or fashion. Uh, there's many different things and creatures in the Bible, many different things there. Uh, we are called human. We are called moms and dads, brothers and sisters, people that have children of other human beings. And I see that from Genesis to Revelations, God is always concerned about them. He even swoops down into the garden, which thankfully, according to scripture today, especially, uh, the garden would be officially on this earth, where Adam and Eve would have been working this earth. And the dust of this earth is apparently the earth that we are made from. So... We see that our God takes us from that dust before Satan gets thrown down. So he's not eating upon us. So again, once again, our sin really is us. Our sin really is on our hearts. Our sin is our desire. The dust that he eats upon, all those things are heavenly celestial things that nobody knows the thoughts of God. But the dust that he made us from, we do know that it's made in the image of Christ. Well, we see that Christ backed him down by using the word of God. So then that's what we have in this world, the word of God. But that, that takes faith. God's the only God and the only faith that sent his son to give that to everybody. Jesus.